Good afternoon. Welcome to the Software Engineering Institute's webinar series. My name is Shane McGraw, and I'd like to thank you all for attending today's webinar. Our webinar series presentation today is Software Architecture Fundamentals, Technical, Business, and Social Influences by Rob Wojcik. Uh, hi, everyone. It's, I'm happy to be here today um, to uh, be your presenter. This is kind of a new experience for me, so if I make any webinar faux pas, I hope you'll forgive me in advance. Uh, let me just take a minute or two to kind of position where I'm at, position where I'm at at the SCI. First of all, the SCI, or Software Engineering Institute, is a, a Department of Defense Research, Research and Development Laboratory. It's created in 1984, and it's under contract to Carnegie Mellon University. So uh, although the Department of Defense gives us an awful lot of money each year, I actually get my paychecks from Carnegie Mellon. Within the SCI, there's a number of different programs, and the, I won't uh, name all those programs. I'll just tell you that the one I work with is the Research Technology and System Solutions Program, or RTSS for short. The vision of that program is to enable assured and flexible system capabilities at all scales with a focus on the structure and behavior of software-reliant systems. Now, within that particular program, there's a number of initiatives. And again, I won't go into the details of all the initiatives. Uh, I will simply say that uh, the initiative that I spend most of my time with is the Architecture-Centric Engineering Initiative. So today's topics, uh, we will cover uh, what is the software architecture, why is software architecture important, which requirements are most important to, um, to the design of an architecture, and we'll talk about some of the other influences on a software architecture. And at the end of the presentation, I will take as many questions as I can before we run out of time. Um, I want to do this quick polling question with you just to get a feel for how much uh, my attendees know about software architecture. So if you could just take a take 10 seconds to click on which answer is most appropriate. Okay, pretty good mix. Okay, good. Okay. So we will talk about, uh, first talk about what is software architecture. Now there's a lot of definitions for software architecture out there. Um, if you were to go to the SCI website, uh, you would probably find that we've collected over 200 definitions for software architecture that have been submitted by people from all over the world. Uh, if you wanted to, you could actually go to the website and enter your own definition for software architecture uh, to, to add to that list. But one day the clouds opened up and God spoke to the people at the SEI and told us that this is the correct definition of software architecture. And uh, of course, you know I'm kidding, I hope. But uh, we like this definition because it sticks with the very basics of what we think a software architecture is. So a software architecture is the structure or structures of the system which comprise the software elements the externally visible properties of those elements, and the relationships among them. Okay, so regardless of the number of different definitions of software architecture out there, there are some things that remain absolutely certain. First of all, software architecture is an abstraction that describes the software elements of a system. So by definition, an abstraction shows the important details of the system, and it does not show unimportant details of the system. So what exactly are important details? What does that mean? From, from the architect's perspective, the important details to show for an architecture are the design decisions that will ensure that key properties of the system will be achieved during its construction, during its use, and during maintenance of the system. The software architecture tells us what are the major elements of a system, what are the roles, responsibilities, behaviors, and properties of those elements, 
The software architecture also tells us what's the relationship between all of those elements. And when I say uh, relationships, I mean which elements connect to each other, which elements interact with each other, uh, when and how do elements connect and interact with each other. And relationships, as I use it, also includes uh, what are the properties of those connections and interactions. For example, uh, how fast does a connection have to be, how secure does a connection have to be, how available does a connection have to be, that sort of thing.